Well, this year's Tony Awards included beloved revivals and show-stopping performances, Broadway veterans and newcomers making their debuts as Tony winners. CBS 2's Dave Carlin is live for us in Washington Heights outside the United Palace. Dave, what a night. What a great night. And right now we're at the Post Tony's party here in Washington Heights, a celebration of Broadway's best and brightest, and the one show getting the most high fives right now. The big winner, Kimberly Akimbo. Ever, ever clever. Wait a minute. I like your point of view. Kimberly Akimbo, a musical about a teenage girl with a fictional disease that ages her prematurely, took the top prize at the Tony's. Along with the Tony for Best Musical, it also won book, score, featured actress Bonnie Milligan, and this big win for the show's lead, Victoria Clark. I was so sure I knew who I was and who I wasn't, and you proved me completely wrong. Some Like It Hot came into the Tonys with 13 nominations and won several, including for choreography and for lead actor Jay Harrison G. For every trans, non-binary, gender non-conforming human, whoever was told you couldn't be, you couldn't be seen, this is for you. To wake up tomorrow, drowning in my sweat. Parade took home the Tony for musical revival. It's the story of the trial, imprisonment, and lynching of Jewish businessman Leo Frank. Parade's Michael Arden won for his direction. So keep raising your voices, standing up against intolerance of any kind, anywhere you see it. For best play revival, the winner is Top Dog Underdog. And for new play, Leopoldstadt, which also won for costume design. And featured actor in a play, Brandon Duranowitz. Alex Newell of the musical Shucked won featured musical actor. Two of the most competitive categories, leading actor and actress in a play. And those Tonys went to Sean Hayes and Jody Comer. There were many firsts at this year's Tony Awards. The historic move to the United Palace and Washington Heights. And a ceremony that went on unscripted. So, so now you're asking, well, what's the compromise? Well, we don't have a script, you guys. <laughs> amid the ongoing strike by the Writers Guild of America, which agreed not to picket the ceremony. The Tonys had twists and turns, and in the end, it was a triumph. And it looks like the trip north to Washington Heights really paid off, and this ceremony proved that old theater saying, the show must go on. Live in Washington Heights, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Love that, Dave. Thank you. Love to see some household names and some newbies being honored tonight. What a great show. Thank you so much.